Thank you, Chris, um, and good evening, everyone. My name is Heather Wingate, and I'm the Senior Vice President for Government Affairs at Delta Airlines. And Delta is proud to be a sponsor of an event series like this. Um, we're particularly pleased to be here this evening for the interview with Congressman Steve Scalise of Louisiana. As most of you know, Delta has a very robust global footprint. But what you may not know is that our roots actually began in Louisiana in a city called, a town called Monroe, Louisiana, about nearly 100 years ago as a regional crop duster. Um, we had something to do with the bull weevil beetle, from what I hear, um, which hopefully is not in Louisiana anymore. But um, Delta loves Louisiana. Um, today, even with our roots in Louisiana, we're currently Atlanta headquartered, but we still cover every corner of Louisiana. And in fact, in 2017, we had 3 million passengers um, in Louisiana. That's about 5,000 seats a day in Louisiana. And that's everyone from the business traveler to um, the college student to the masses that come to Louisiana for Mardi Gras every year. Um, at our Delta, our mission is truly to connect the world. And at the, the core of that mission is continual engagement uh, with our investors, with our customers, with our communities in which we operate, and obviously with government agencies as well. But our most steadfast commitment is actually to our employees. We know that if we take care of them, if we give them the tools to serve our customers, then our customers will keep coming back to Delta, and it will be a virtuous circle. Now, nearly a century later into um, Delta coming into being, through a number of mergers and acquisitions, and certainly plenty of headwinds as well. Uh, we are up to 800 aircraft and counting. We employ 80,000 people and are hiring. And we're flying 185 million customers every year to over 320 cities around the world. We also have made major investments in airport infrastructure, and that includes $7 billion in airport infrastructure just over the last 10 years. We have another $12 billion uh, ready to come online in airport infrastructure over the next five years alone. And in recent years, Delta has seen strong profits, we've seen increased confidence from the financial markets, and we've had unmatched investment in our people. Um, the companies continue to lead the industry with innovations, with really innovative approaches, including um, the ability, uh, technology that allows our customers to actually see when their bags are loaded onto an airplane, when the, when the bag comes off the airplane, to an innovative app that our pilots use to avoid turbulence for a smoother ride. Um, put simply, our mission is to make the world a smaller place. And in a business known as much for volatility as ingenuity, Delta's commitment to being a great place to work and fly and a positive force in the communities in which we are in has enabled us to maintain our position as the world's most reliable, most customer-centric and employee-focused airline in the world. This is a virtuous circle that we will believe will take us into the future. And with that, I want to thank the Washington Post for allowing us to partner with them on this series, and I look forward to hearing from the congressman, as I know you do as well. Thank you.